With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is an air bubble trapped inside a rectangular glass flap cuboid appear at 2 cm from one side and at 3 cm from the other opposite side if the refractive index of the glass is 1.5 what is the actual width of the glass slab hence we can see here suppose this is our let's say glass slab whose thickness is given as t hence we can say here this is our let's say here object o now we can see here this here image of this object as seen by an observer present in the air will be equal to from this surface given here as let's say this height is our h i and this here height of the object here is given as let's say here thickness of the glass slab which is equal to t so here this is our height of image h i and this here is our let's say h o this h o which is equal to thickness is the real depth and h i here is our apparent depth so for this we can say here this is incident ray now when this travels from denser to rarer medium refractive index decreases hence refraction angle increases so we have here height of image divided by refractive index of refracted ray is equal to height of object divided by refractive index of incident ray so the apparent depth here can be written out as h o into we have here as refractive index of refracted ray divided by refractive index of incident ray so this can be written as our real depth has t here refractive index of refracted ray which here is in air is 1 and incident ray we can say here is the glass slab so this here is mu so this comes to be our t divided by mu now the question says suppose there is an air bubble present in this let's say here glass slab so this is our let's say air bubble now here it says when it is viewed from one side when this observer views this so he sees this air bubble at a distance of 2 cm that is here this let's say our height of image is seen to as let's say 2 cm and here if another observer sees this then its height is let's say here seen as 3 cm so we can see here this let's say here we can see here this is our one height of the image and this here is our other height of the image whose sum gives us the total thickness so we can see here the real thickness h o will be equal to here we can say as real thickness from this formula we can say as real thickness is equal to we have here as h i into here this comes as incident by refracted so this comes to be our mu into h i so in the first case here it is given as 2 centimeter so for the first part we can see here this thickness comes as real thickness as 2 mu and here from the other side here image is seen as 3 centimeter so this here is given as 3 mu hence the net thickness of this glass slab will be the sum that is 2 mu plus we have here as 3 mu which comes as 5 mu now mu here is given to be 1.5 so we can see here this comes as 5 into 1.5 hence the real thickness here can be written of this glass slab as 7 point we can say as 5 centimeter so this is the actual width of this glass slab that is 7.5 centimeter which is our answer for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.